At this time, I am proud and honored to recognize the recipient of the 2017 Outstanding IST Alumni Award. This award is given to an outstanding Penn State IST alumni who, who, is, who have achieved success as leaders in their profession and who have made an impact on society. This award is one of the highest honors bestowed by the College of IST. So Steve Gargiulo, please join me on the platform. Steve Gargiulo earned a degree in Information Sciences and Technology in 2009. After graduating, he led the revolution to transform the culture of Johnson & Johnson by initiating and shaping a global grassroots movement at the fifth largest company in the world that engaged 23,000 employees and led to countless stories of product and people development. As the founder of Action Surge, he currently works with people from all walks of life and all across the globe to turn a person's idea into reality through clear and specific actions. In February of 2017, he released his Amazon best-selling book, Surge, Your Guide to Put Any Idea into Action. And he recently established the Stephen D. Gargiulo Nittany Valley Society Endowment for Penn State History, which funded the development of a course about Penn State University history, which will launch this fall. Steve, on behalf of the College of Information Science and Technology Alumni Society Board, I am pleased to recognize you as this year's outstanding IST alumnus and present you with this engraved award in appreciation of your hard work. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right. Graduates, Graduates parents, parents, faculty, faculty administration, NSA, Russia. <laughs> Let's all give one more round of applause to the class of 2017. Your other speaker this afternoon was the co-founder of a social platform with over 290 million monthly visitors. It is one of the most visited sites on the internet and has provided an incredible conduit for global dialogue. I have a TEDx talk that has garnered 4,532 views. <laughs> Penn State believed correctly that they needed some additional wisdom from me. On, on February 2010, uh, February 10th, 2017, I was asked if I'd be willing to give this speech. speech. And of course, course my reaction was, wow, what an honor. I knew, I knew that over the course of the next three months, months I would vigorously prepare to give the best, most profound commencement speech of all time. I had, I had such great intentions and immediately wanted to jump in. But, but a few weeks went by, and then March went by, and then April went by, and then Thursday went by. <laughs> and 48 hours ago, with a blank sheet of paper still in front of me, I decided that I'm probably in a situation that none of you are familiar with. And I decided if I was going to get this done, I needed to go to the best place in the world for people who need to get things done. Reddit. <laughs> and thus, on Thursday night, I posted a thread on Reddit inviting the world to contribute to this commencement speech. Here are some of the best lines that I got back. If you learn nothing else about yourself, make sure you find your sleep number. Take the time in the store to test it out the bed, figure it out. Sheets and Rawa are actually both great, but Sheets is a little bit greater. <laughs> When I graduated, when I graduated, and this is true, Barack Obama was the president of the United States. So clearly that was about 30 years ago. Go on eBay and order a Papa John's flag to keep in your car, because then you can literally park anywhere you want for as long as you want. It looks like it's just for hippies, but you should really try slacklining. Learn how to hang drywall, you never know when you're going to need it. And finally, there's no I in team, but there are three I's in information, sciences, and technology. So we have enough to keep one eye on the ball, uh, which makes bail, and that's very important. Uh, and then there's one more eye for pirate. Yeah, that Reddit guy was crazy. 
Who, who says, says you can't get other people to write your commencement speech? I published, I published a book earlier this, this year called Surge, which is all about the science of taking action, and whether it sparks people to act to hold people back from acting. And, and one, one of the biggest things is that it's super hard for us to come up with actions for our own ideas, but it's actually super easy to come up with actions for other people's ideas. Case in point, difficult to write your own commencement speech, easy to write it for somebody else. Now, none of you are dumb. You're all going to have a ton of good ideas over the course of your lives. You already made at least one going to Penn State. So as you continue having great ideas, surround yourself with lighthearted, fun people who can help you turn them into reality and invite other people to help. More often than not, it's other people who know how to give your ideas legs more than you do. We just can't be afraid to share them. You know, next time you're afraid to share an idea, Remember that someone once said out loud in a meeting, let's make a film with a tornado full of sharks. <laughs> Even bad ideas are worth exploring sometimes. Do I really need to own usedflannel.com or garlicbreadreviews.com or horrendousbathrobes.com? But I might be able to do something with those someday. So my final piece of advice is, Give my book to your bosses and ask them to hire me as a speaker or consultant. <laughs> but seriously, only 33% of Americans earn a college degree. Only 7% of people worldwide earn a college degree. You've earned this incredible distinction that you get to carry with you for the rest of your lives. So don't rob the world of your ideas. Go out there, register some domain names, use Reddit, and take action. Thank you.